We were at the District Invitational on October 19th of 2019. I crossed the finish line so happy. I had just ran my best time. Me and my teammates are all hugging each other. So I'm like running my finger down the list trying to find my name and my name wasn't there. You guys, my name's not on the list. And they were like, well, you were disqualified because of your hijab. I went and blank. What hijab should I wear? I think this one's really nice. My name is Nura Bukaram. I'm 17 years old in Sylvania, Ohio. I run for Northview High School. I've always done sports here. My mom too, she's a runner, my dad's a runner. Like if we didn't have sports in our lives, it would be Baba, how's work today? Mama, how's work today? How's school? That's it. And there's Nura there again. Mom bought the whole collection. I started running my freshman year. Running forces me to think about everything that's going on in my life. So I think about my day and I set my intentions. You know, it's all you and there's no outside excuses. On October 19th of 2019, my teammates and I were lining up getting ready to race um, and our uniforms were getting checked per usual. I crossed the finish line. I had just ran my best time. So I'm like running my finger down the list trying to find my name and my name wasn't there. And I honestly thought it was like just a, a simple mistake. You guys, my name's not on the list. And they were like, well, you were disqualified. I looked at them and I laughed. And I was like, for what? Because of your hijab. I just turned around and I walked to the bathroom. Honestly, I didn't know how to feel at that moment. You know, my dad called and he always calls after my races if he can't make it. I just, I didn't know how to tell him. I was like, I was disqualified. And then he was like, for what? And I said, because of my hijab. He was like, what? I walked out of the bathroom, saw my coach. He was just like, you know, I didn't have the waiver. Why do I need special permission to do something that everyone else is doing? I was so humiliated at the time. I was surrounded by all these people and you know, we had to go take a team picture. I didn't want to talk to anyone because I knew someone was gonna bring it up and I knew that that's what they were all thinking about. My mom was like, okay, you're not okay. Something is going on with you um, and you need to talk to someone. My sister like looked at me and she was like, Nor, you can't let this happen to the next generation of them. Almost like a slap in the face, stop thinking about yourself. <laughs> I called my cousin Zubeda. I talked it through with her and she was like, well, let me post it on my Facebook status. It just took over. On the same day, I had an interview with our local news channel. High school runner was disqualified from a cross country meet because she was wearing a hijab. At 10 o'clock at night, I had an interview with Teen Vogue and Washington Post. Once the right people heard my story, we were able to make change. Put your arm around him. On the other side, there you go, like that. I thought it was pretty cool, you know, meeting with the senator. We sat and we had a coffee at a local coffee shop and then we told her about this rule change. She took a picture with her iPad and she started highlighting random things and then I was just like, I was like, oh, she's getting to work right now. She felt like your hijab was like a religious symbol that needs to be honored the same way as a cross. Yeah, I think that's how she um, connected to it personally. So why did you need a written permission for your hijab when there wasn't a written permission for other religious articles? going to change today. <laughs> Inshallah. Inshallah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Basically, what the bill entails is that you can't have any discriminatory policies in extracurricular activities. So it doesn't just include cross country. No, it's speech, it's debate, it's chess club, it's anything that anyone is trying to pursue. I'm pretty excited. Yes, Super excited. And, and I would again just have you tell your story. You, you've always worn. Mm -hmm your hijab when, when yeah. you run, mm -hmm. and never had a question. It was never an issue, mm -hmm. and um, and just uh, be yourself. All right. <laughs> and, and you're gonna do great. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, this is a different room. I think just standing there and looking at them and just knowing that this is what could make the change, the real change that I've been fighting for this whole time, it was just like this weight on my shoulders. And like, okay, I have this responsibility. I need to tell my story and I need to tell it with everything that I got. Me and a few of my teammates headed over to look at the placements of the race, but my name wasn't listed. 
And then they looked at me and they said, it was because of your hijab. And my heart sank immediately as what I had always been afraid of became a reality. I testified, they voted, it was passed unanimously. And then even the president of the Senate co-signed the bill. This is the gavel from Senate President Larry Obhoff. He gave me this gavel after Senate Bill 288 passed the Senate. Anyways, I keep it up there. Once it finally quieted down, I was able to sit with myself and think about what's next. And it's like, okay, I could just leave it. Or I could move forward. The Lender Run Initiative is aiming to fight discrimination and injustices in sports. Let's bring all of these athletes together in one place. That's my vision for it. I had, you know, all these people to talk to about it, and I had this huge circle around me, and that's something that I want to give to other athletes going through this situation. Just recently, a young girl in Tennessee just went through the same thing. She's a volleyball player. And one thing that someone said to her was, I'm so happy you handled it with class. Once I read that, I like thought back to myself and I was like, wow, I was told that so much. I had every right to be angry. My hijab made me stand out so much, but I didn't want it to be my main point of conversation. I wanted my athletics to be my point of conversation. But I found it in me to understand I'm a Muslim and I'm competing in this sport, and I'm a part of the sport just as much as anybody else. I don't need to pretend that I'm just an athlete because that's just how it should be in the first place. I'm running today, and today I'm gonna run as hard as I can.